Welcome to another day, another episode with your favorite coach, me, coming at you today with another episode of consistency and perfection and talking about all of that for yourself. Um, so yes, it's going to be interesting and I'm going to love it. And can we talk about how it's episode 167 already? Like, oh my gosh, we are going by so fast. And it's already October, which is why we have to talk about showing up for yourself. So my question to you today is, are you showing up? Are you showing up for yourself? Because over the next five minutes, I want to talk about how we always strive to be perfect, but yet consistency always beats it. And if you are having trouble with being consistent with your fitness journey and it's super overwhelming and you really don't know what to do, I have created a free cheat sheet that tells you exactly how many food and calories you should be eating in a day, uh, some workouts in there and some recipes as well. All you have to do is drop me below this video or send me a message on my Instagram at Salome Abiger and I'll drop it into your DMs. So no email, no opt-ins, none of that stuff my gift to you for being so awesome. And for those of you that it is the first time that you're listening to me or watching me live, my name is Salome Aberger. And over the last three years, I have helped over a hundred women lose 27 pounds in the first 90 days with my program called The Dangerous Divas. Um, and in every single video, so workout episodes, anything like that, that I post, I want to give you a quick weight loss tip, a quick tip or workout that you can start implementing into your health and fitness journey because my entire goal is to teach you everything you need to know to succeed forever and in the next five minutes we're going to talk about how we always strive as humans we always strive for perfection but yet consistency always beats it are you ready let's go so i just said consistency always 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 beats perfection and i've done multiple episodes about this before um but it's all about showing up and giving it all your energy giving it all like being a hundred percent committed to what you want to get to so i want to tell i want to ask you does this sound like you right you are held back from thinking that you know you have to be so perfect on the all the time you have to eat only clean or whatever clean means foods you you know you tell yourself you can't eat after 7 p.m you have to work out every single day seven days a week and when you mess up you think that everything is ruined like literally as soon as you mess up it's the worst thing that can happen and you feel super guilty about yourself and you know you just like feel like you gave up on your goals does this sound like you if you are listening live, I want to drop a yes in the comments if this sounds like you. Because this sets unrealistic expectations on yourself. And we got to let that crap go. We literally have to let it go. Okay? It's not going to help you. It's not going to serve you in any way. And it never has. Being restricted on yourself and telling yourself that you can't, you know, eat past 7 p.m. in... You have to work out seven days a week and, you know, you only have to clean, eat the clean foods and it will be messed up if you miss one of these days or one of those things. You have to let it go because the key, the key to success in anything in life, anything, it could be your fit, fitness and your health journey. It could be a business you're trying to start. It could be your school, right? Consistency is what is going to let you there. Remember, consistency is key. No matter how small of a step you take, whether it is just drinking your water bottle for the day, right? Showing up and staying consistent with your healthy habits over a long period of time is going to lead you to creating even more healthier habits. Because that feeling of high energy, of confidence, of happiness, is going to lead you to conquering your goals even faster, even better with more amazing, sustainable results, okay? When you are restricting yourself and you're trying to be perfect, it is not sustainable. It is not something that anybody can do for their entire life. So I want you to find the consistency that works for you, right? So I've got some tips for you. I've got three tips to be able to stay more consistent and not aim for perfection all the time. 
Number one, you want to set SMART goals. SMART stands for um, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Okay, you want to set very, very clear goals. And I would only set one or two at a time until you get there. Number two, you got to celebrate all wins. Most importantly, you have to celebrate every little milestone on the way to your big goal. Every single one of these little steps is worth celebrating because it's what allows you to get to where you want to be in the future, okay? And then number three, you need to track your progress. You can do this by setting little milestones for you to hit. For example, you know, drinking a water a day for seven days straight, um, taking pictures for and measurements. I would not just rely on the scale, and I have talked about this as well, but you know, taking pictures and measurements to see how you're progressing. Um, putting on a piece of clothes that doesn't necessarily fit you now, but you're trying to see if it fits as you're progressing. Uh, what else could we do to track progress? Um, having a calendar with like checkoff marks every time that you work out, right? Like when you start, when you set those little smart goals and you celebrate every single win, whether it's having more energy or being more positive than you were three months ago or losing 20 pounds, right? And then tracking your progress those are the things that are going to make you sustainably um, more consistent with your fitness journey. And those are the things that are going to help you grow as well and have more energy and get to that big goal that you want to get to. So in the comments or if you're watching um, or listening to me on the podcast, send me a message. I want you to tell me which tip are you going to be implementing right now because you need to pick one of those to start at least today to get started and being more consistent with your fitness journey. And like I said, because consistency with your fitness journey can be super overwhelming, I've put together a free cheat sheet that lets you know exactly how much food you should be eating in a day with a very simple math formula. And all you have to do is drop me below this video, M-E, and I'll send it to you to your messenger, no email, no opt-in required, my gift to you, for listening to me ramble on for the last 10 minutes. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you have the best week ever and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.